Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can copy GPX route files that you've created on our free Ordnance Survey route planning software, as shown in our earlier videos, onto your SatMap Active 20 GPS device, simply using a copy and paste function. I'm using a Windows computer today. The function is the same on a Mac computer. You copy and paste into the back end of your SatMap Active 20 device. So on a Windows computer, the first thing I want to do is go to my downloads where my GPX file was saved earlier. You may have moved your GPX root files that you saved onto a different folder on your computer, as long as you know where to locate those GPX files where you've saved them to. So I'm going to go to File Explorer on my Windows computer and look for my downloads. On your Mac, you'd use your Finder and go to your Downloads or whichever folder you've copied your GPX files to that you've downloaded as per our earlier videos. So I'm just going to go to my Downloads here and I can see at the top I've got a GPX file called Simon Side Hills. So I'm simply going to right click on there and say Copy. While I'm still in File Explorer, I'm going to go to this PC now to find the SatMap Active 20 that I've got connected to my computer. On your Mac, you go to Finder and look at Devices Connected, and you should see your SatMap A20 for Active 20 connected. So if I double click on my SatMap A20 here, and I can see all the folders that are inside my unit. Now I've actually created a folder on my SatMap Map Active 20 called Roots. So I can see a folder called Roots. If you don't have a folder called Roots already created, you can simply right click on a blank space inside the internal storage here on your GPS and select the create folder and actually create a new folder. So we've got here new folder and I could then simply create a new folder and call it Roots. As I've already got a folder created, I'm just going to get rid of that one called Roots. If you didn't want folders created in this way, you can simply copy and paste the GPX file just to a blank space on the internal storage that we can see here on your Active 20, and that will still appear on the Roots on your Active 20. But as I've already got a folder called Roots, I'm just going to double click on there. I can see I've already got some Roots in here, GPX files. I'm just going to right click on a blank space and select Paste and say yes to the message that comes on the screen. And that GPX file is now in my Active 20 unit. So on your Mac computer, exactly the same. You're just copying and pasting the GPX file into the internal storage of your A20. If you haven't got a Roots folder already created, you can just drop it into a blank space on that internal A20 folder. And then I can simply close that down. With a SatMap Active 20, when you unplug it from your computer, you do need to turn it on and off again for your new routes to load. If you're using an older SatMap, an A10 or an A12, you do need to use a program called SatSync from SatMap to transfer your GPX files onto your older GPS device. But with the Active 20, you can use this simple copy and paste function. So hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.